Depression and low testosterone. I got tested for low testosterone, essentially on accident, found out I have really low testosterone. It makes sense, all this depression, all these challenges I'm going on in my head right now because I always thought having low testosterone meant that we couldn't get it up, we couldn't get into the mood, we couldn't finish it. All I had to deal with men's parts down there. And now that I've done this test, my, my results came back there. 43.61 is my level of testosterone. And it should be like 350, 400 on the bottom scale. The high scale is like eight, 900 for my age of 43. So my testosterone is extremely low. And I'm going into a clinic this week to start working on this because it all makes sense of what it's doing to my head, not to my bedroom life. If you're new to the channel, hit the like and subscribe button. So I do business with King Health and I've tagged uh, the website down below, it's kinghealth.com. And if you type in unicorn 20, you can get 20% off of the test. And they do STD, STI tests, but they do hormone tests. And I was really excited about this hormone test because I know that something's been off for a little while, but not quite sure what. So this hormone test tested for four different hormones, cortisol, all this. And I, things haven't been right with me lately. I haven't been really excitable lately. I've been struggling with some energy and with motivation lately. And I've also gained some weight, which didn't make any sense because I've always watched my diet. And I've been very, I'm very active in going to the gym. I usually work out a lot of times twice a day for at least five days a week, if not seven days a week. I enjoy working out. It's, it's healing to me. And man, I'm just struggling all the way around. And I couldn't get into the mood always. Like I wasn't very aggressive with my wife anymore of like, hey, how you doing? But again, when it came to being in the mood, my thing worked and I, I would stay hard. I maybe wasn't like the hardest that I've always been, but it was fine and I could finish. And yeah, it didn't affect me that way. And so I never considered at all that low testosterone was going to be a challenge for me. And so I get this test from King Health and we, my wife and I do it. And we actually kind of record it. I'm all excited, like this is fun. And I'm kind of starting to think because of the weight gain and stuff, like maybe my cortisol level's like too high or something. I don't know. I had all my levels checked back in 2021 and everything was fine. So we send these in, I get the results back 43.61 and I'm like, what? And I'm like looking up all these things and I'm like, this can't be, but my thing works and all this. And that's not always what low testosterone is. And it started explaining everything to me. My, the best way I can explain my brain is like, I am depressed, but not the normal, like, like poor, woe is me, deep, dark, hole depression that meh depression, like that nothing is exciting me depression, that little bit of like hopelessness, like maybe I'll find something that excites me or is this what contentment is? Like, I don't know, but something's not right. Another thing is, is I've been getting really irritable lately and I never understood, I didn't understand why. Like I've worked on my temper control for a very long time and I've had my temper under just great control. And lately I've noticed myself starting to get irritated easier and easier and starting to even snap back. Like I've watched this gradually go up all of a sudden again. And I'm like, this isn't right. Like something is wrong. Struggling with the weight loss. Like I normally weigh about 235. I'm 6'4". And my weight went back up to almost 260. And I haven't weighed 260 since like I was getting sober. So I'm like, this is like, I'm, I'm packing on weight all of a sudden. And it's not healthy weight because I've noticed that my muscle masses went down some. So these were all signs actually of low testosterone. I have low energy levels. I can't seem to get enough sleep to just feel like my batteries are recharged. And being motivated has been a huge challenge for me. Just to do stuff that, man, eight months, nine months ago was no brainer for me, man. Super routine, just like life is good. Now I'm finding myself putting a lot of energy into of just getting some of these normal tasks done that were really easy for me. Now I'm finding it just being very energy, just draining to do. And I've, I'm taking a lot of just focus of like, okay, I got to do this and not even doing as much as I once was. So if you are struggling with any of these, these can be signs of low testosterone. I didn't realize this. And I'm so grateful that I did the test because I did it because I wanted to find out what my hormone levels were. It's been a couple of years since I had them tested. So I was excited about it. I didn't think they were going to come back with the results that they did, but I'm actually glad that they did. And the reason is, is now... I'm not going to a family physician for my uh, hormone treatment. I found a specialty clinic here in Idaho that specializes in hormones because as my dad was a doctor and I know that doctors have just this, this scale of things that they have like knowledge on and they usually will sublet you out or refer you out to a specialist. So I might as well just cut to the chase and go to the specialist myself. And looking into the different types of therapy out there and consulting others of what they've struggled with, how they've gone. And, 
And like everybody I've talked to is like, man, you'd be surprised like what happens. Like everything I'm explaining, a lot of these guys are like, yep, we were there, you know? And none of, none of, no one thinks that this is low testosterone because if this works, it can't be low testosterone because this is a big sign of it. Not the only sign, believe it or not. So if you are out there struggling, I will say this, man, get your hormones and stuff tested. Even if you want to try King Health, I tagged them down, website down below. But like, again, when you start to struggle, and I know from my experiences, when I start to struggle, you start to look for solutions to this that can lead to the path of self-medicating. I mean, it can lead to a lot of bad stuff. And so getting tested was been amazing for me, and I'm grateful for it. I mean, hit the like and follow button, comment down below, because I'm going to start sharing weekly on my uh testosterone replacement therapy and what I've experienced with this because hopefully I'm hoping within a couple months that my brain starts to go back to normal and everything goes back to normal and better than what it was because I didn't realize I've been struggling with this for so long. I love to hear other people's stories. I love to hear what other people been through. And I think it's also important to look outside of the box when we are struggling mentally. We are struggling with motivation. We're struggling with so many things, not just to point the finger, but to actually dig into ourselves and never take no for an answer. You know, sometimes with therapists, they don't even think of testing hormones. So for the ones out there that are feeling some of these, get your hormones tested. Trust me, I am so glad that I did.